Hi, I'm Lucienne, and this is about how am I going to change the stitch direction of an ASA font. Well, here I have one word. Let me open sequence, and you see here it's just one word. And in order to change the letters individually, I have to break apart this word. So over here on the lettering monogramming I choose break apart. Now you see I have several objects. All the letters are separate. Here this letter again click on it to select it and click on break apart. Now you see that the letter N has one, two, three, four five different objects that you can work on. Suppose I want to change the direction of this part of the letter N. Then I click on it, I go to reshape, and over here what I can do is I can do like this. Let me delete that one, and that one also, the stitch angles and let me go like this. So this has changed. Of course it doesn't look very nice because this part is here so you can do it a little bit more smooth. Like this. Left mouse click here to make a new stitch angle and for example here. And now we're going to bring that a little bit to there and that one a little bit more, that one a little bit less. I think this will be better. Now we have here not that funny uh, object that doesn't look good. The same you can do with all the other letters. For example if you have this one, the E, let me go to the E because this is one object. I can click break apart and you see the letter E has two objects. This part is an object and that part is an object. So click on this part, go to reshape and you see here the stitch angles. Well here you can change them also. So if I want them like this then I do it. Click on select and the stitch angle has changed. So this is it. Good luck!